this part, we are looking at the Cobb Douglas production formula where P equals C times X to the N times Y to the 1 minus N. P is the number of units produced, X is the units of labor, and Y is units of capital. C and A are constant where A is between 0 and 1. For example, suppose that a firm's label of production is given by P equals 20 times X to the power 1 fourth times Y to the power 3 three fourths, where X represents the unit of labor, Y represents the unit of capital. Currently, the company is using 16 units of labor, 81 units of capital. The labor is increasing by four units per month. What must change in units of capital per month to be maintained the current level of production? So the current level of production is at X, which is the labor, 16. Y, which is the capital, is 81. And the other part here, increasing the labor, increasing. That is the rate of change of the labor with respect to time. The unit can confirm that for you. The time is in month. Increasing means positive inside, positive for unit per month. The question asks for the change in units of capital. Capital is a Y, Y per month, or the capital per month. Another way we say we are looking for the rate of change of the capital per month, or dy by dt, at the current level of production, x equals 16, y equals 81. First of all, we are going to look at the level of production at the current x and current y. So P equals 20, where X is 16 to the power 1 over 4 times Y, which is 81 to the power 3 over 4. Simplify these numbers, we get 20 times, recall the power 1 fourth means the root, the fourth root of 16, that turns out to be 2, and 81 to the power 3 quarters, that is the same as the fourth root of 81 rest to the power 3, which is 3 to the power 3. In fact, it is 27. So we multiply the number 20 times 2 times 27. <laughs> we get 1080 as the current level of production. So the equation now becomes 1080 equals 20 x to the 1 over 4 y to the power 3 over 4. Based on this implicit work here, so this is the implicit um, function. So when you find the dy by dt, our goal is to find dy by dt. We are going to use the related rates or another way, like another version of the implicit differentiation by treating x and y as a function of t. Before we begin the process of implicit differentiation, I'm going to simplify the, um, the expression here to be um, 1080 divided by 20, so divide both sides by 20, get the new implicit differentiation as uh, 5, 4, or 54 equals x to the power 1 over 4, y to the power 3 over 4. And after that, we're going to perform the implicit differentiation by finding the derivative both size with respect to t. So this is step 1 of the implicit differentiation. So d by dt of 54 equals d by dt of x to the power 1 fourth times y to the power 3 fourths. The left hand side is a constant term. The derivative is going to be 0. The right hand side is the product of the two functions. So make a note here again. This is the product. 
So we treat the first one as the F, second one as the G. We are going to find the derivative with respect to T using the product rule. The first function multiplied by the derivative of the second function plus the derivative of the first function times the second function, which is y to the power 3 over 4. The note just in case that you need to recall the product rule formula, f times g prime plus the f prime times g. And this is the f, this is the g prime, and this is the f prime, and this is the g. Then we are going to simplify the derivative for each part, or the derivative of the g and the f on the right-hand side to get x to the 1 over 4 as the f. The derivative, recall x and y are function of the t, so we're going to treat it using the chain rule or the general power rule. So 3 over 4 times y to the power 3 over 4 minus 1 times dy by dt. Plus, same thing for the f prime, use the general power rule, 1 over 4, x to the power 1 over 4 minus 1 times dx dt, and then times uh, y, times y to the power 3 over 4. And then we're going to simplify. Looks like both of them divided by 4. I'm going to multiply all the way by 4 to clean up the denominator. Becomes 0 equals x to the power 1 over 4 times y to the power negative 1 over 4 dy by dt plus uh, the coefficient still 3 there, sorry. And then the second term going to be x to the power negative 3 over 4 times y to the power 3 over 4 dx dt. We have the term involving the negative power. So I'm going to rewrite one more time. So it'll be 3 x to the power 1 over 4 over y to the power 1 over 4 dy by dt plus y to the power 3 over 4 over x to the power 3 over 4 times dx dt. The problem is the numbers as the x equals 15, y equals 81 x equals 16, y equals 81, and dx dt equals 4. So we're going to replace the values here. We get 0 equals 3 times the x, which is 16. So it's going to be 16 to the power 1 quarter over the y, which is 81 to the power 1 quarter times dy by dt plus the y to the power 3 quarters, which is 81 to the power 3 quarters, over x, which is 16 to the power 3 quarters, and multiply by dx dt, which is given to be the value 4. So I'm going to move over to the empty space here, and then we're going to solve 4 dy by dt, or the rate of change of the capital per month. We have 0 equals, we call 1 over 4 is the fourth root, we need 3 times 2 on the top and the bottom. The fourth root of 81 is 3, and then multiply by dy by dt, plus the fourth root of 81 is 3, 3 to the power 3 is 27, over 16, the fourth root is 2, raised to the power 3 is going to be 8, and multiply by 4. And next, we can cancel the numbers. Therefore, we have 0 equals 2 times dy by dt plus 27 over 2. And then when we solve for the dy by dt, we just subtract both sides by 27 over 2 and then divide both sides by 2 or multiply by 1 half. Then we have the dy by dt as negative 27 over 4.